Hey guys, I felt like filming again. Don't mind my hair. I took it out of the braids that I had in yesterday. Um, today I'm going to do all my pinks and corals for you. Um, every lipstick shade that I own um, in either a pink or a coral, um, I will be swatching for you on my lips so you can see what they look like. Um, I don't really have any makeup on right now. I'm just fresh faced. Uh, I thought this way you could see with my skin and with my undertone how the shades would look. Obviously with a full face of makeup they would look much nicer, but um, this way you can get the full look on a fair skinned redhead. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will start right in. So the first product I'm going to start right in with is another Rimmel product. This is Rimmel London. This is the Provocalypse. Um, this is kiss proof lip color so the longevity of these are amazing they can last all day long it says 16 hour and they are completely right about the 16 hour so this shade I'm gonna go in with is called little minx so I'll go in with that and I will let you guys see uh, what it looks like on me and I'll try to be slower today yesterday I was kind of when I filmed my red lip video which you guys can find down in my um, video list. Uh, I kind of went a little too fast so I'm gonna try to go a little bit slower maybe not have uh, the swatch be so quick. So I'll go in with Little Minx and I will let you guys see. All right. I have a pen. I have an apple, uh, apple pear, I have a pear, I have pineapple, uh, pineapple pear. So the next color I'm going to go in with is an NYC product, and it's a liquid lip stain. The longevity of this product, even though it says it's a stain, um, I would say it's crap. I mean, I like lip stains that last an ungodly amount of time where... I may not even have to reapply them till uh, after a full day of work and you can eat and you can drink and it stays on all day. So for me, lip stains that you have to keep reapplying kind of annoy me. Um, but I will put this one on. It's, it's okay. It doesn't last that long. It's a little bit softer, so it doesn't really live up to its name, but it's still nice. Um, I couldn't find the shade on this uh, NYC product. So this is what it looks like guys. Um, smudge proof. It's just, I don't know what the color is. It looks kind of hot pink to me in the tube. So I will apply that. Um, I'm just going to have to write in the down bar NYC color. I'm just going to write maybe like hot pink in the brackets. I don't know what it is. So I'll put that on and I'll let you guys see it. I took the liberty of putting a headband on for you guys. You can't, that way you don't have to see my wild mane. Uh, the next product, I actually noticed on it that it's cruelty free. So for any of you that like that, um, this is the NYX Liquid Suede and the color is in Life's a Beach. Um, these are also another product that doesn't last that long that you have to reapply. So if you don't like anything that dries your lips out, um, or has a matte finish. I really like matte finishes because I find they last longer um, and I don't, I'm not one to reapply as I've told you guys. So this one's a nice shade. It's just not one that would last that long, much longer than say a lipstick, but um, we will try it out. So here you guys go. That last shade got on my teeth as you guys saw um, it's a little bit better now it's quite bright 
Um, I don't know whether I like it or I don't know what to think of this one. I have it. I never wear it. So I just wanted to tell you guys that obviously you have to pay attention to that one for getting on the teeth. But it dries down pretty nicely. So it just doesn't last that long. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer. So these ones are very similar to the NYX that I just used. Was that NYX? Yeah. Um, they last a little while, not that long. They transfer easily um, and wear off the lips. But the pigment payoff is really nice. And if you need hydration, that'd be good for you. So this color is in Aurora. So I'll put that on for you guys so you can see. Got another Rimmel Apocalypse. I'm going to put that on, uh, and that one is in Rosetto. So I'll show you guys that one, and we'll see how that looks. The next product is Tarte Wonder. I got this in an Ipsy Glam bag. Um, it's a lip cream, so I'll put that on for you and you can check it out. I like that it has a twist bottom, so you don't have to sharpen it, which is incredible. I don't know about you girls or guys, uh, but I'm not one for sharpening, especially the bigger sticks. Uh, I just find it annoying. I feel like you're forever sharpening. So I'll put that on. We were staying in Paris to get away from your parents. You look so proud standing there with the fountain and a cigarette, posting pictures of yourself on the internet out on the terrace. We breathe in the air of this small town on our own, cutting glass with the thrill of it, getting drunk on the past we were living in. If we go down, Obviously, I'm not using lip liners, but this was a bit of a bugger to apply. I was looking at my lips when I was filming, and it kind of leaks through, and it was just harder to get on, but it's a really pretty shade. So, you would definitely need this one with a lip liner if you're feeling like using a lipstick or a lip, what do we call this one? A lip cream. <laughs> okay, let's get on to the next shade, shall we? Now, with this shade, you might have seen me use it in previous videos. This is a CoverGirl Outlast All Day, and it has two steps. <clears throat> it's got the lip base and then the lip gloss. Um, this is a stain. It lasts fairly a long time, not nearly as long as my Rimmel's. Um, but it's got a little bit better staying power than <clears throat> some of the other brands that I've used. So I don't normally go through with the gloss. I use the gloss on top of other products that I like, but I'll do both for you guys today. One with it uh, without the gloss on and one with it with the gloss on. And this color is called Coral Crave. two are two of my favorite brands well two of my favorite lipsticks that I own in my collection other than the Rimmel um, Provocalypse in the terms of longevity so for a lipstick that lasts a long time whoo these are amazing um, this is the L'Oreal Paris 
Um, these are lip stains. I don't ever use the gloss part. I don't get dry lips. I get dry skin throughout my T-zone, but I never have a problem in terms with dry lips. I do feel that maybe as I age, I might have to change over from using lip stains um, and go to more of <clears throat> a gloss or lipstick kind of form. So uh, my skin appears uh, dewier and more fresh, but I love having my lipstick last all day. As soon as my lipstick wears off my lips, it's, I'm busy and I have white lips and I'm looking in the mirror because I'm a hairstylist and I have no lips. So for me, uh, I just, to remember to run to the back and reapply lipstick is hard. Um, maybe I just haven't gotten this, into the schedule of doing that, but um, I just don't tend to do that. So I really do love lip stains. So I'll be sad when I do have to give them up. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Passionate Petal. This is one of my favorite pinks of life. Um, I really enjoy this shade and I mix this shade with a lot of other shades that I have in my collection So I'll put that on for you guys Morning. those are a bugger to get off same with the Rimmels the L'Oreal's are a rough go <laughs> so you really have to rub at your lips uh, the next shade I'm gonna go in it doesn't last necessarily as long as the passionate petal but it still has good longevity I think this one has flakes of shimmer so they might not um, have their uh, chrome collection down pat as well as they do as their matte collection so this one lasts uh, about half the time of the other one. It still lasts a long time, but I would have to reapply this one, but I still love this shade. And this shade is in Perpetual Apricot. So I'll put that on for you. Well, that was all my corals and my pinks. I hope you enjoyed the video and continue watching when I post. And I will see you next time for my nudes. And I'll try to have my hair done and maybe a little makeup on my face. I just thought I'd keep it real today. So I will see you next time and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.